folks, so this is the March 2016 Espresso Box unboxing and kind of a an interesting partnership this month. Um, yeah, I, so I'm gonna own this. Uh, I do some travel with my with my job. Um, Delta is kind of my well, hell, they're not kind of. They are my go-to air carrier. Um, I currently have silver medallion status. Um, so when I saw this box, my first thought was, what the hell is Delta doing sending me something for? And then I read the text. And it was from Spreza Box. So this is uh this is this is interesting. I, I seem to recall they've done some crossover stuff before in the past. Um so I have no idea what's in this box. Um but I do know Spreza is an accessories company. Uh they they are one of my Preferred, uh, they and Gentleman's Box are kind of my two preferred accessories companies. Um, the one thing that I will always say for Spreza is everything is designed to basically be worn kind of as a cohesive unit out of the box. That's the one thing they do well. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see what we've got in here. So uh, our card, the Delta Box, we are excited to announce our partnership with Delta Airlines. We have joined forces to bring a travel-inspired box with bold colors to elevate your style. Um, so, yeah, ironically enough, it is the beginning of what I've come to call um, spring travel season. When I, have to, uh, when I have to attend several conferences, uh, either academic conferences or publisher conferences. So let's see what we have. So I'm going to grab the first thing here. The first thing is a tie from Spreza, and wow, yeah, they're they're definitely this is definitely Delta inspired. Uh, the dominant blue with some red and some white. Um, I like the colors. I, I'm almost halfway tempted. I, I ironically enough, I have to uh, travel out to Las Vegas in April um, for a uh, for a conference uh, for HDI, and I'm I'm really kind of considering possibly wearing this on one of my travel days just to see if anybody at the airline picks up on it. Um, like it, like the colors, like the feel, the fabric is good. It's kind of a, a thinner tie. Um, so, so far so good. Let's see what else we've got here. Uh, next up we've got some socks. Um, U.S. Men's 8-12, to 12, so that's kind of a problem right there. The calves may be workable. So, uh, if you've been watching my videos for any period of time, uh, when we get to the point of looking at the socks in a box, uh, I always lament the fact that because of my size, because of my weight, um, these these usually aren't feasible. However, uh, I, I've since January 1st, I've been doing one hour of cardio a day at the gym. And when I say one hour, I quite literally mean two 30-minute sessions. So, Take that 60 minutes and then build travel time and prep time in, travel time home. Uh, you know, so one hour is literally for 60 minutes me on a treadmill, um, just hating life and hating everything else. But um, I, I have noticed that you know I've I've lost considerable weight, I've lost considerable fluid retention, uh, and I I may actually take these with me and see how they feel. Um, the color is kind of interesting. So it's kind of like two shades of blue. It's almost got a little bit of a digital camouflage look to it. Um, I don't know if we would call it like pixelated heather or digital camouflage, but kind of interesting. Uh, also, not quite the blue that I would associate with Delta. With Delta, I always, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, you know, usually with Delta, you think of it just like a, a deep royal navy blue, not necessarily that gray. Um, this, I'm, I'm loving this for two reasons. Uh, okay, three. Um, the tie clip, first and foremost, uh, you know, because again, I can never have enough tie clips. Um, they're, they're one of my favorite accessories. I don't like tie tacks. I've talked about that. You know, when you have to wear any kind of a tack, it's going to destroy the fabric. Uh, but a tie clip is always nice. And if we take a look at this, so one, it's an airplane. Now, I, I was the kid. 
I, I would look when a plane was up in the sky. I'd look up in the sky. Uh, when my parents divorced, uh, my mother moved to Florida in 1984. My father stayed up in Michigan um, several times a year. My brother and I would have to fly back and forth to visit my mother. Uh, so I, I've been pretty much a frequent flyer since about 1984. Um and I, I was just, when I was out at the airport, man, I was I was the kid, I would stare at all the different aircraft. I would stare at the paint design, stare at everything else. And, you know, one of the reasons I'm just kind of squealing is, you know, not only is it a TITAC, not only is it an airplane, but at least for me, this, this is just a nod to Eastern Airlines. Um, you know, I, it, it crushes me. Um, you know, A... So many of the airlines that I had when I was younger are gone. I mean, you know, we're down like basically four legacy carriers now, plus Southwest, plus a lot of smaller startups. Um, but I'm thinking like TWA, I'm thinking Pan Am, I'm thinking um, Continental, Braniff, um, United. My God, I, I still, so um, when, when United merged with Continental, um, they got rid of that iconic Saul Bass artwork. That, for me, man, when, when I see that old paint job, the blue, the orange, the white, uh, when I see that, you know, kind of stylized, just everything, um, they got rid of it in favor of the old continental tail decoration, which was, I mean, okay, um, but man, I, I see this and this, this just reminds me of the old Eastern Airlines logo. Uh, so I, I am just, I am loving this tie clip in so many different ways. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Uh, next up is Brickell reviving, reviving day serum with protein peptides, aloe, uh, has some kind of acid, and it is scented. Now, uh, if you've seen some of my videos in like the last two and a half months, uh, you will see that I, I made a brief failed attempt to try and regrow my hair. I mean, okay, I, I got out to the peach fuzz phase. Um, what actually happened was I, I have this weird little bump. Let me, let me see if I can show you here. Interactive. Um, somewhere right about there, I've got this weird little bump on the scalp that when I shave about once every two or three months, I nick it. Uh, and in February, I didn't just nick it. I, I set off like a full-blown gusher, like the, um, the, the bathroom smelled of blood. Okay, maybe that's exaggerating a little bit, but I could definitely smell the damn blood when I... Um, when I when I nicked it, so I was kind of like, you know, maybe it's time to stop shaving the head. Maybe it's time to just kind of go ahead and regrow the hair. And finally, ironically enough, last night I was like, yeah, I can't do that. Um, I'm I'm getting to the point in my career where you know I just I I can't do long hair. I'm I'm not in my twenties anymore. I'm not even in my thirties anymore. Um, so I, I shaved it all off. So all of these facial products. And this, I'm given a sniff, so I do have to see what this is. Day serum. What is this? In... You should always take care of your skin to prevent aging. We send you organic grooming products to sample. Um, so I'm assuming it's a facial thing. I'm loving the smell. And I, I guess, if anything, I can just kind of do a little rubbing on here. Hey, now that I don't have the beard anymore, now that I don't have hair, I, I can do on on video product demonstrations. I'm loving the smell. Um, I, I guess my, my only thing is, you know, Brickell really hasn't said what this is or how to use it. Um, you know, we might want to do that with our packaging, kids. The other thing, and I've, I've said this in past videos, Brickell is fucking everywhere right now. Um, one of my partners and I decided to watch the Queer Eye reboot. And I've noticed in several of the scenes, uh, you want to get to the grooming segment, there are all sorts of Brickell products in the background. So they're just bringing their, like, their, their game to town. They're getting their stuff everywhere. Uh, two more things in here. 
And I see the last one, and I'm going to hold off on that for right now. So right now, uh, this is LSTN sound. I am betting that these are earbuds, which isn't bad because almost five years ago now, maybe four, I got a pair of really kick-ass earbuds from a Birchbox uh, that for a very long time were kind of my go-to earbuds. Uh, they're the ones... Oh, and these are almost as kick-ass. Um, let's see here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. You have to understand. Look, look, look at these. All of these amazing wood products. Uh, when, when it comes to my design scheme, just the way that I think about design, um, wood is like catnip for me. If you can get me something in a nice wood, man, I am just squealing like, holy shit, look at this. And the reason why I'm kind of having this moment um, is the last earbuds that I had, apparently Apple released a version of iOS that really kind of broke, it didn't break the earbuds, I could still listen to the sound. Um, but um, things like uh, the dongle to control... Um, the audio no longer worked. Uh, obviously, of course, also, you know, being Apple, we do have this. Oh, come on, guys. We, we couldn't have made, like, a little lightning audio to lightning adapter. Um, but still, I'm really liking it. You know, LSTN, they're, they're one of the brands that I just, I, I adore with regards to earbuds. Uh, I actually have a backup pair of the old um, reclaimed wood. Uh, but these, you know, again, just look, look at these. Beautiful, 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 nice dark wood. Um, so this is probably going to go in my jam bag. You know, one of the things about having the um, having the wireless headphones, ironically enough, I just happen to have my, I'm charging them up for the next travel. Uh, so right now I've got a pair of um, Skull Candy wireless Hesh, uh, Hesh 2s that I use when I fly. Um, but one of the problems with that is... I've got to have the wire with me, um, so like you know, if there's an in-seat audio system that I've got to interface with, um, you know, they don't have Bluetooth for that. Uh, but something like this, I will probably carry this in my travel backpack just to kind of have a nice backup. I'm I'm really impressed, Spreza. Y'all are kicking ass, and we haven't even got to the best part yet. So this, oh my god, um, wow. So. This is, I'm pretty sure, a, let me just, yes, it's a passport holder. That's exactly, but take a look at this. Delta stamped it. Now, most of y'all are thinking, oh, big deal, man. But for me, as like an old airline geek, this is Spanish fly. This isn't even catnip. This is pure Spanish fly. I'm giving it the sniff test. It is absolutely leather. This, th this is awesome. I love this. Um, you know, last year I I got myself a passport. Um, the 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 election of president shitbag had nothing to do with it. Although it was kind of a nice spur to get me to get the passport. Um, but. I, I kind of have a couple passport cases that I've gotten, but, you know, something like this. This is just, this is gorgeous. It's just, it's a simple, elegant brown leather. Uh, like I said, it's got the stamp, and I guess as long as I'm a medallion um, status flyer with Delta, uh, I, I got a little swag here. So, god damn, Spreza, you guys knocked this out of the park. This is just like, I, I think one of the favorite boxes that I have ever gotten from y'all here, just because everything is something that I'm going to wear, I'm going to use. Um, you know, even in the case of the socks, I'm, I'm going to kind of try to get back into the socks because I, I think that my, my body mass is now to the point where I can start to wear men's dress socks and, you know, not get this tight compression band around. Um, this, God, guys, y'all you, you just kicked major, major ass on this. And I love the crossover. Again, you know, this is just me as an old airline nerd. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and do the uh, do the recap here. So, uh, the first thing that we've got is the Delta Passport holder for $13. Uh, stay fly during flight check with Delta's light and simple passport holder. 
If you're adding new stamps on the reg, this will keep your passport looking crisp. If you love America too much to leave, well, this will at least protect it from the dust in your attic. Either way, Delta is our preferred airline, and it should be yours too. And you know what? I'm going to have this moment. Uh, I actually thought about this when I was getting ready for the video. Um, Delta is going to stay my preferred airline, if only because of a very bold choice uh, that they made. Um, you know, ironically enough, uh, I was flying home from a conference in Tucson uh, when the Parkland shooting happened. Um, I, I was kind of getting settled in my seat, uh, and I was watching people in the row in front of me. They were watching CNN, and my, my first thought was, oh, Christ, you know, it must be a day that ends in lie in America. We're having another mass shooting episode. Um, Delta decided that they were going to rescind their NRA disc, uh, discount. And, of course, you know, all the Georgia Republicans, you know, they just lost their shit, man. Delta is taking away the NRA discount, man. Fuck Delta. We're going to hit them with taxes, and we're going to take this away from them and that away from them. And the CEO of Delta put out a statement that was just a giant double finger to conservative gun nuts. And the phrase, our values are not for sale, appeared prominently in that. That right there. Um, you know, again, I'm, I'm a medallion status flyer with Delta, but that right there, um, put your money where your mouth is. Uh, so that basically, that ensured me as a frequent flyer, um, I, I will now actively seek out Delta. Um, you know, so again, that was an amazing moment. Uh, you know, and as, as somebody who is in the education industry, you know, for some reason, education, man, we are the, uh, we, we are the magnet for these fucking mass shooting episodes. Um, you know, I, I can't lie. Um, I, I've had moments where these have happened. I, I kind of realized that if anything ever happens uh, in the building where I work and I'm in my office, I'm fucking dead meat. Uh, I don't have anywhere to run. Uh, run, hide, fight. Uh, I'm at the end of a long corridor, and I'm a little mobility impaired, so I really can't run. Um, so, you know, run, hide, fight, it's like, you know, I just will fucking hide and hope that bullets don't go through drywall. Um, you know, so to see them make that statement and that phrase, our values are not for sale, um, I, I am absolutely supporting this airline. All the more reasons why I am just digging this box. Uh, so the next thing, we, and there's tons of stuff here too. Um, the next thing we've got is the tie clip retail 25 plain P L A I N tie clips are good for a more formal look, but sometimes plain P L A N E tie, tie clips give you that extra flair. Pass this on to your tie to keep it in place. Uh, next up is the Brickell Day Serum. Uh, you should always take care of your skin to prevent aging. That's why we try to send you grooming products to sample, just like this day serum. It's packed with all natural organic ingredients to keep your skin looking and feeling refreshed so you can seize the day. And again, man, I, I got to look into Brickell, man. They're, they're just like showing up everywhere. I think I've seen a Brickell product, a product in all of the boxes, the men's boxes I subscribe to. Uh, I'm seeing them in the background of the Queer Eye episodes. Um, they are just really, really, really coming out aggressively. I've seen them in Facebook, man. You know, I get like pop-up ads. You know, uh, buy. You know, we'll give you the kit for free. Our sample kit for free. Just pay shipping. Um, so, yeah. Uh, next up is the LSTN earbuds. Um, I, I think personally, just for me, th this is kind of like the uh, God. It's like a tie for first place. The passport holder. And the earbuds, just because, again, that wood looks just so damn stylish. But so does that brown leather. Um, whether you're commuting to work or enjoying some in-flight entertainment, you want great quality and sound. That's where LSTN comes into play. Uh, they're a partner of Delta One because of their stylish wood design and solid design, uh, solid quality. Plug these in and go. And again, LSTN... Um, I, I've had those reclaimed uh, violin earbuds for several years now. They still haven't failed me. I've got a backup pair just in case, uh, and I guess I've now got a third pair, and I'm just going to use these, um, you know, the little storage bag. I'm going to put this in my travel backpack. Uh, finally, two more things, we're done. Um, next up is, where are they? Uh, the socks from Sprezza. Comfort is something you don't, yeah, you shouldn't compromise on. Try these soft socks. 
that we designed to make you look and feel like you're walking on clouds. And then finally, the tie, which I, I think is probably the boldest. You know, and again, if I could look at anything in the box, aside from the passport holder, which is stamped Delta, but if I look at anything in the box and I instantly think Delta Airlines, it's going to be this tie, just because, again, the color statement is bold. Um, you know, it, it looks like um, a, a Delta aircraft, the blue, the white, the red. Um, our latest Spreza pie, uh, latest Spreza tie pays homage to Delta's classic colors and patterns, but with a modern touch. We designed this with a double stripe and silky softness for that rich feel. This will match very well with a navy or gray suit and white shirt. And I guess finally, as I close out here, that does remind me, I think I'm to the point now where I can finally, as I've been nudging and gesturing for the last two years, I think I can actually finally get back into my closet and try some of those sport coats on and start sampling some of the um, uh, the pocket squares and other things that I've been getting. So there we go, folks. Uh, that is your March Spreza box. Absolutely phenomenal. I, I think hands down, this is probably the... Best Spreza box I've ever seen. Favorite Spreza box for just so many different reasons. So, um, if you want at this point in time, please, by all means, hit the subscribe button down here. Uh, I do three Gentleman Styles boxes, uh, Spreza box, Gentleman's box, and Birch box. And I also do three Geek-centered boxes. Uh, Geek Fuel, uh, Super Geek Box, and Loot Crate. So, uh, there we go, folks. Uh, of course, if you want to leave some comments, please, by all means, do. Um, if you haven't noticed, and you may not, because you really can't see it at this point in time, I've actually been trying to do some room cleaning. That's been my project. Um, beyond that, I will see everybody for either the next Gentleman's Box video or the next Birch Box video. Um, I will see everybody armed, so be good. Be good to each other. Stay safe out there.